Welcome to this tactical fly fisher knot tying tutorial. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about how I attach leaders to my monocore fly lines like this Cortland Competition Nymph line. Uh, so to make that easy to describe for you, I'm going to go ahead and do a little tutorial on it. As you can see in this uh, frame right here, I've got my fly line connected to my leader with a blood knot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how I make that happen. When you first get your line, you'll notice that it doesn't have a loop-to-loop -loop connection on the end, and that's for a reason. Loop-to-loops go in and out of guides really poorly, and while it may be okay for a short leader system that you're not constantly bringing in and out of your rod, uh, for a European nymphing leader, you're using, uh, you're, you're having that line and that leader slide in and out of your guides every single cast and every drift, and that gets very frustrating and doesn't work very well uh, if it's getting caught up. The first step to being able to tie a blood knot on your fly line with your leader is to strip the jacket off the fly line and expose the inner monofilament core. So we can do that using folded over tippet and normally I'll use some OX or 1X tippet but I happen to have some cider material here that's uh, going to show up better on the, the camera so we'll go ahead and use that and I've just folded about a foot of cider material over uh, put the tips on one side and I have the loop over here on the other and I'm just going to take that cider and, and uh, wrap it around the fly line and pull the tips through that loop and then what that does is it cinches that tippet around the line and you can pull on it uh, pretty hard. Let me try and slide it down a little bit further here. I want to only have about three inches or so, although you may want more if you're used to tying blood knots with more. But uh, I'll cinch it to where I've got about three inches of line left on the end and really bite it into that fly line. And then I just go ahead and use my left hand and pull nice and slowly off while I'm holding the line in my other hand. And what I'm left with is an exposed core on the fly line. Now I can take that core and tie it directly to the butt section of my leader here. So with the blood knot you just cross those two materials over in an X. I like to pin them between these uh, my thumb and my index finger here and use my middle finger to help me wrap and I pinch as I go so I got one two three wraps and because I'm using much thicker material than you might if you were tying this in tippet I'm only going to do three wraps on each side that'll make a smaller smoother knot and then go ahead and do one two three wraps on this side as well one two three then use your uh, go go back through the hole that your uh, core of the fly line is coming towards you through, and put your butt section of your leader the opposite way through that hole. And then, if you want, you can if you're tying this with tippet, you can actually pull on the looped ends and make this a much sh uh, shorter waist tag ends on on this knot. But I'm just going to pull that now, nice and slow. And I'm left with a blood knot that connects my leader to my fly line. Now it's really important if you want this to stay smooth, you need to clip this completely flush with uh, the knot. So you don't want any nubs of that tag end on there. So make sure when you're clipping that, which I haven't done a very good job of, <laughs> but uh, you want to have no no little tag end nubs. Uh, you can see I've got a little bit of one there that I can work on once I'm off the camera here. But uh, you don't want any of those tag end nubs left. Now, if that knot doesn't go through smooth enough for you, it's a pretty easy thing to take some UV resin and put a little bit on that knot. get any excess off of there and then just hit that with your UV light 
And now I've got a nice smooth knot that uh, works really well going in and out of the guides. Much better than a loop-to-loop -loop or even a nail knot uh, on top of the fly line. So if you're using a monofilament cord, uh, especially U European nymphing fly line, but any fly line with a mono core, this is one way to attach your leader to it uh, that goes in and out of the guides more smoothly. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you saw here, uh, feel free to check out my other videos on my YouTube channel, Tactical Fly Fisher channel. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook and Instagram, and feel free to like and share.